Um, but um, welcome on this Friday evening or Friday afternoon or morning, wherever you are in the world. Aha! And there is the man himself. How are you doing, Sam? I'm doing just fine. Good, good, good. I see you're, uh, you've got you've got your friends with you behind you. Uh, just a few. Yep, yeah, just a bit, uh, that everything's going well. We've just got people. People joining us now, um, and we're looking forward to having a good e good time this evening. Um, with for those of you joining us, thanks a lot. Obviously, you remember last week we had um, Anthony from Trick or Treat, who's the sales manager. He um, kindly showed us some of the uh, the new stuff that's coming along. This week we are um, we are graciously fortunate to have the presence of uh sam her first who is the um what's your official title sam you are uh i'm master of everything pretty much uh, i i technically my my title is creative lead slash designer so Ooh. there's a a lot of hats to be worn yeah that's it when yeah when they give you a slash it's something slash that means you're gonna have a lot of work to do <laughs> <laughs> But it's uh, it's fair to say you have a lot of input in all things, don't you? Whether it uh, comes to from the marketing, social media, the the design of the packaging, design of the brochures, the artwork, the um, yeah, you do get involved in an awful lot of things, don't you? Yeah, I, I've always just kind of like if I see an opportunity that I can make suggestions or or help in any way, I always try to be involved wherever I can and learn as much as I can about. All the different areas of the uh, sure know, uh, of the company, yeah, yeah, and um, that's sometimes that's, sometimes that's a good thing, but then sometimes you end up with even more work to do. But hey, it's certainly a very interesting role that you have. Um, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and the good thing is what I know from talking to you in the past that it's not just a job to you. You know, it, it it's a passion as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can see from my surroundings here, which is this is the one corner of a, a, a larger room of my my personal collection of toys, masks, and various other things um, that I just, you know, I, I like to immerse myself in it as much as I can whenever, you know, we're, especially when I'm working, um, you know, if I'm working on something for a specific movie, I may even put that movie on and, and just kind of yeah. really get, get deep into it. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. No, that's the way to go. Um, we, we do have a lot of people joining us, a lot of people saying hi, throwing questions at us. Forgive us if we don't get if we don't get a chance to answer everybody's questions. Um, but we've got a, um, a fair bit to get through. So um, you've kindly you do have some um, new sort of like samples, prototypes to show us, don't you? Like, uh, like I, we had I last have... week. Yeah, I have quite a variety around me here, uh, so it's going to be uh, depending on what you want to go you, to. Sam. Um, happy to happy to go with whatever you want to do in whatever order. I mean, we can start with some of the stuff that was just recently uh, launched for pre-order. So, like right next to me here, Good I have idea. the samples of the the haunt masks. I mean, That's these are the one, isn't it? Yeah, production samples of everything. Wow, um, and these came out really fun. Um, I was really excited with the quality and the paint jobs on all of these. These really came out cool. Um, yeah. Know, with, it's fair with to all... say it was, only, it was only sort of like, was it two days ago that we that it was released for pre-order? Yeah. I don't know about, a bit about you guys, but we've had a load of people pre-order haunt masks already. These two were probably my favorites of the bunch. But, um, the... You know, I, I can't decide my favorite. I keep I keep looking. It was the ghost, um, well, but I really do like the Dracula one as well. The vampire is really cool. I think the witch is really pretty yeah. excellent. She's she's just fantastically retro Halloween and really yeah. great colors and stuff like that. But these mm. were, you know, as you can see, you can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see the video, but they all have mesh in the eyes. Um, yeah, to add to the effect. Um, but they were all we were much with. Like with much of the stuff we do, we, you know, we were fortunate enough to get copies of the, the film masks uh, that we could yeah. replicate. And um, Justin, the art director, he actually 
track down the devil mask that wasn't actually available through the studio um, from the guy who actually played the devil because he had it. Wow. So he got managed to get like permission to borrow it and and that's that's persistence and dedication for you. Yeah. yeah. So these these are just being brought out in vacuum form, aren't they? Yeah, uh, they're uh, injection molded. Right. PVC. Or okay. plastic. Yeah, yeah. So they're 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 pretty sturdy, but they kept a lot of the. They we tend to go with uh, the injection molded plastic if we want to maintain a lot of more detail. If we do yeah. vacuum, like true vacuum form will soften a lot of the details out. Um, and for something that works a lot better than others, but yeah. On that same note, you know, we had the release uh, just last week, I guess, of the Scooby Doo costumes. Wow. Which, <laughs> coming in, uh, you know, classic Ben Cooper style box. Yeah. Um, now this... you, now you, you did, you would have been involved in designing the the box, yeah. Yes, um, I mean, I pulled assets from from Warner Brothers, but the actual layout, the the colors and everything, I kind of did because it's when you're dealing with the studios, it's really interesting because you end up with their style guides, which is what they yeah. want you to. It, technically, it's like they kind of just do it so um, companies don't have to think about it, and they will just all have the same type of packaging. It'll all have the same kind of handful of images. Um, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street gets it probably the heaviest as right. far as the franchises go. But I only really recently, well, like since I've worked for Trick or Treat, found out that it's like, I could essentially make it up if I wanted to. <laughs> and, the, yeah. and, and, and I mean, I could do that work and, they, and approach them with it and they could say no. But in the case of Scooby Doo, they were actually like, "No, this is really cool. Like, go for it." And um, yeah. because because the normal Scooby Doo packaging didn't fit like our vibe at all, and it was very difficult to try to like force it into, you know, the trick or treat aesthetic. Yeah, but. I think, but I think also with packaging, I think packaging has become more and more important these days, hasn't it? Particularly with with people who who want to purchase these as a collection. You know, I mean, I mean, we've. I've got some good friends who, if I say, right, I've got this and I've taken it out of the box, they sort of like want to disown me and, you know, come after me and sort of say, you should never take anything out of a box. You want to take it out of a box, buy two and take one I mean, out of the box and keep. And the packaging has become really, really important. And I think, I think it's fair to say that over the, you know, the past few years or so, Trick or treat have really upped their game on the on the on the packaging. It's it's well, really. Well, I think as, as you've gotten more into the collectibles rather than just the masks, it's yeah. um, it adds value and um, and it's really good to look at. I really appreciate you saying that. I mean, it was always, um, you know, I, I personally, I mean, I'm always a little bit of a design nerd when it comes to to packaging and stuff, and I have purchased products that I wouldn't normally solely because of the packaging like yeah. you know it, it, it's but that's it, and i don't necessarily think that that's what everybody does but it's i always try to approach it from that same kind of kind of point of view yeah yeah i mean i think it's a similar thing i know it's a completely different industry but i think this is something where um apple really get it right um yes. you know wh you know whether you like their products or not when you receive a new Apple, whether it's an iPhone or a Mac, and it arrives in that box, the box is just, it's just, you know, you fall in love with it because because yeah. there's so much, it's ra rather than just thinking, oh, let's just put it in, in a blister pack or in a, in a cardboard box, they put a lot of thought into the packaging. It's, it's the whole experience, isn't it? Yeah. It, I, <laughs> I mean, the ongoing joke is like, just throw away that laptop box. You're never going to use it again but it's like how many of us who have apple products do just like keep the iphone box like in a cabinet somewhere Me? yeah yeah it, uh, have you ever gone back to it though <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> no. I, I know, but it's just um yeah it's just it's just just a beauty to behold <laughs> yeah so it's definitely uh, you know, yeah, so, so so that's the um the, the Scooby Doo. Can you just show us the um the Scooby Doo and and just the, the, the other masks again if that's possible so we can have another oh, quick yeah. quick look at them because there's some people saying some great stuff so I want them to get another 
on the Scooby Doo box. You can see what's it, what's it, what's it like on the back? Um, this is actually a test print, so it doesn't have the final back on. All oh, right, it's okay. Got a silhouette, that, but, but there is going to be something no, on the no, back. You, yeah, yeah. The, well, they're all finished now. This is just the one yeah. that I had from uh, yeah. from the printing proofs, but it right. was. Um, you know, the masks were sculpted by um, Jasper Anderson, um, mm -hmm. who does unbelievable work. He's, I don't know, that's he's so much fun. But yeah. um, we were going to be packaging the costumes and the masks together. And normally, you know, the costumes all came in bags. And I was like, well, what's going to happen to that mask if it's tried to be jammed in a bag? And yeah, we started talking about it and something that um, Justin and I had been throwing around for a really long time was doing like a Ben Cooper style box. And the opportunity hadn't really come up until this particular situation. So we pushed for it and it's been a journey. And I think the next one will be even better. But yeah. And then as for the haunt masks, we got. Yeah. Devil and oh, amazing. Witch. See the vampire one again. Vampire. I think I think the vampire one is my favorite actually. Vampire yeah. and the zombie. And then the ghosts and the clown. There we go. And just to let you know, everybody, these are all available to pre-order. They're up on the website now. We're taking pre-orders. And when do we expect these these out again, Sam? Can you remember? Um, I, believe, I, I believe we're expecting them to be all shipping out in April. April, okay. So get your pre-orders in quickly because I'm, I've got a feeling that the first batch of these will go really quickly. Yeah, been a, okay. been a huge response on those. I've been really excited about that. Um, yeah. on, on, on that same release, we had um, the Mortal Kombat masks. So yeah. um, again, these are our test print boxes, so it doesn't have like the uh, plastic inserts or anything. But, mm -hmm. so, Got sub zero here. Now sub zero, I, I'm not, I'm not highly knowledgeable on Mortal Kombat, but isn't sub zero supposed to be a bat, a devil, or something like that? I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure somewhere he's, he's not supposed to be necessarily one of the you, you classes of goody, uh, the character. Um, I guess he, he kind of. I feel like at one point in the series they they started pushing him towards the good guy side, but right. in the original and you know in the original Mortal Kombat like him Scorpion and uh, Kano and they they were like the batch of the bad guys. Yeah, and they've been there um, right from the beginning, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. They're, I mean, fan favorites easily. But here's the yeah. Sub Zero mask. Okay. Which is for all you got, Mortal Kombat fans. Uh, some heavier mesh in the sides and in the front yep. grill here. It's just great details on these. It is. Beautiful and what's that, is, what's that made of again? Uh, this is also injection molded plastic. Okay. Um, so it's it's nice and durable, and it's you know it's not going to scratch easily at all. Yeah. And it's. But Do you have uh, any of the other Mortal Kombat ones? Uh, and then I got Scorpion here. So here's his, yeah, box here. Mm -hmm. Much bit of a bigger box than, yeah, than Sub Zero. But uh, Shao Kahn's box is coming. But here's Scorpion. Wow, there's some detail on that. Yeah, these are really fun. Uh, again, it's got mesh backing in these like slots here. There's a little bit of padding yep. in the inside, um, but these were, you know, these are all from Mortal Kombat Nine or based on the character designs from Mortal Kombat Nine. Um, yeah, and it was just kind of one of those situations where we had a really awesome opportunity um, to get these sculptures from Brad Zonka, who he's actually the guy who does all of the purge masks that we have for the most part. And he yeah. had these sculptures, and they were just really cool. So we were like, "This is a great opportunity to put those out." So, mm. 
how long does it take to make as opposed to the um i suppose it I suppose it depends really but you always imagine that the the latex sculpted mask that they take probably longer to design and get approved than the um you know than the than the injection molded ones um the with the latex masks it tends to be a bit of um it, it's kind of like you end up saving a lot of time on the back end of it because the actual yeah. production time and the molding and all that kind of stuff is so much quicker for latex masks than it is for any of this injection molded plastic stuff. Right. But, you know, just cause something smaller doesn't necessarily mean that it's less involved than a full head. Um, but the, the guys that, that Justin and Chris have just kind of gathered over the years are, unbelievable with what they can turn out yeah. and how quickly they can. And we're very, very fortunate in that because these guys are so talented and so detail oriented, we don't tend to run into a lot of revisions once we start se like submitting it for approvals. It's usually like yeah. really minor things. And a lot of the time it's things that are on like the finishing, not so much the sculpture. Um, so like this thing needs more wavy hair than it has like that kind of a thing, which is all really easy changes to be made. Of course. No, that's great. Okay. So, um, I think you've got a few other stuff for us as well, haven't you? Yes, um, yes I do. So which I'm excited have... to see, cause I haven't seen these yet. Um, if, if, if it's what I think you're talking about, it's the, the wood signs. Yeah. Yeah. So I got the samples here. I got a nice big Santa Mira sign. <laughs> nice and heavy. It's got metal hangers on the back up here. Yeah. And um, this will also be because, coming because in. Because some, some of the some of the previous signs you've done, they're, they're metallic, aren't they? So it's yeah, just in person. This was the, the first time I was like, well, we can make metal signs, but, you know, you see all those kind of crappy seasonal wood signs at like the craft stores and 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 yeah. in targets and stuff like that around around the holidays and i was like why can't we just do that but like with something cooler yeah so we started looking around and trying to find factories that could do it uh the way that we wanted to and um you know so all of these so i these were the first two because i thought these were the most appropriate but you know the, they're going to come in a box too <laughs> you can see that so yeah they're actually Nice. Well, I really like box. that because again, again, the previous signs they didn't they didn't come in a packaged presentation box, yeah. did they? They just came loose, which is fine. But it's it's something a little bit different, isn't it? Now, to, you know, this. Uh... Yeah. Now this one, this one's really fun because they did a lot of weathering. That... <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to get one of those. Yeah. Some great weathering and and wood grain texture to it. Again, it's yeah. got the hangers on the back um but these were fun projects for me because i really am uh, a really big nerd when it comes to uh trying to recreate type that isn't just you know it's not a canned font it's not anything like that so it's um a lot of the time it's hand lettered stuff and i have a, a really it's like you know putting put, putting a puzzle together and, and recreating the letter shapes and things like that to make a match as best yeah. i can so that's what i did for both of these um jaws yeah box i love, I love that yeah i'm gonna I have that i know somebody else would be i mean i keep people keep asking me what are my two favorite horror movies and and we get asked this a lot on our friday lunchtime lives and i always end up saying i can never quite decide between jaws and the shining I would watch both of them time and time and time again, and I have done. Um, I know. So I, 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 think I told, that, I told you. Be on my list. When all this is over, it's like you got to come out here, and I'll, I'll we'll we'll take a a day trip out to all the filming locations for Jaws. I'd love to see that because I've, I've I mean I've seen it on because um, Google Earth can do a, a tour, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's it's not it's not the same. Yeah. No. no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're but, nearby, aren't you? Uh, I wouldn't say nearby. I mean, it, but well, it's, you know, definitely closer than you. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, as for you know, and then we got the Gremlins Peltzer metal yep. sign, um, which this was uh, much like the uh, 
the final processing sign, the Halloween three one. This was uh, just kind of a fantasy piece. I was like, well, what would a sign be? Because I wanted an excuse to use the the Peltzer logo from his business yeah. card in, in, in the film. So I was like, I'm going to make him a sign that he would put on his like home workshop just for fun. Mm-hmm. And um, this is what I end up. I actually yeah, have, right. if, if, I actually have the, the samples here for the uh, the brand brand new ones that aren't out for pre-order yet. So I got yeah, that that's gonna be a hit. That one is. This these two <laughs> might, might might be my favorite though. So I got the. Yes. So this one's a bit yeah. of a different size than the other ones. It's a little little skinnier, but and then mm. and then the Twilight Zone one. Yeah, yeah there's, I mean, yeah, there's something for everyone's taste. Yeah. The uh, you know, I I was listening to you ruffle some feathers with your earlier <laughs> Instagram live. Oh yes. With which with, with, me? with your Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street, really. Yeah. I, I, it's it's the music. It's the music. For those for those people who weren't with us earlier, me and Mark were doing our uh earlier live, weekly live and somebody says which is what do we consider a bad horror movie? And I've never been able to get into Nightmare on Elm Street just because it just annoys me that when somebody's scared and, you know, scared of um, Freddy and they're about to be murdered, it's like, oh, let, let, let's play disco music in the background. And it, it's just, I, it just, I hate it. I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, I'm quite prepared to be shot at and everyone disagree with me because it, it's all subjective, but I, you know, I just, just can't help it. <laughs> I know what you mean. I have a lot of friends who, who are, they're just like, oh, you're just a naysayer. I'm like, no, I just couldn't get into it, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not about Nightmare Stop. on the Street specifically, but yeah, other ones. Okay. But so I mean, that's, are, that, are they all the samples that you've got at the moment? Um. I mean, the only I think I I got this one too. I got the yes, that's out now. Been been out for a minute, but it was a fun uh, design project to make a box for a box. Yes, yeah, box for a box, (laughs) and that is that is a really good uh, for those people who've who've got those. They'll know it's a it you know it's not just one of these little plastic cubes put together. Uh, it's a it's a proper wooden box and it's it's uh, it's really well made. But I just wanted to make everybody aware who didn't know that you were also heavily involved in this little project, weren't you? Yes. So the if somebody would ask me movie. what what my favorite horror movie was, it would probably be Evil Dead. Um, there there is something very much. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's always just been one of my favorites since I was in oh, probably sixth, sixth or seventh grade. It was yeah. a very uh, important uh, movie in, in my growing up and horror fandom. Um, yes. I, I do have mine here too. So this was a really fun, fun, fun project. A very... What, did, what, what first went through your mind when one of them came to you and said, Look, we've got a new, a new product we're bringing out. Um, do you fancy getting involved with a Necronomicon book? You must have, you know, having loved the film, you must. It, it must have been like, first of all, you must have thought, "Wow," and then secondly, you must have thought, "Oh no, the pressure's on." Well, it's funny because it, it, this was a project that was in 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 the works before my involvement, and Russ Lukage. Um, did a phenomenal job sculpting the outside of this and um the opportunity well the so then the inside needed to be addressed and justin and i were just you know we were talking and trying to find an artist that could possibly be a great fit for that style and do like bring something new to it and we're looking around and looking around and i was fortunate enough to have my my wife there who just turns to me she's like why don't you do it and i was like 
I don't know, could I? So <laughs> I, I, I started testing out some techniques, doing some pages and trying to replicate them. And Justin was happy with them. The licensor was happy with them. So I proceeded forward to hand do all of the pages in the book. And how long did and, that take you? I mean, it was an intensive uh, project as far as like we needed to turn it around a lot quicker than really it should have been done in. Uh, I think I, I think I did it over the course of about a week and a half, maybe, maybe, right. two, yeah, probably a week and a half to do all, all 30 pages, which was quite a bit. Wow. That's, it, I mean, it's just, it's, it's astounding when you, when you people go through it, I don't, people expect it to have all the pages that it does have and all the, um, you know, the graphics inside, um, you know, you get the, um, the, um, the texture of the pages as well. The fact that it's all weathered. Um, yeah, I remember, was... I remember somebody telling me, I can't remember who it was, but one of you guys telling me how long it had taken to, to source the right sort of like almost parchment type paper for inside it. And, uh, you know, the, yeah, the detail I, that's I... gone into it is amazing. I started getting like paper samples and I was like, okay, well, can you guys weather the edges? Do you have something that's like a raw edge paper? Like what, what can we do? So it's not so square. Uh, and eventually, you know, with the help of our, our, our factory um, and through a bunch of tech, like tests, we ended up with where we are. And I mean, I think that it's, you know, it's not a, you know, perfect, screen accurate weathering but i mean for for what we did i think it came out pretty pretty fun yeah and you've even worked uh, there's a little signature in the back isn't there a little acknowledgement yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um taking a cue from from the master himself tom sullivan who created the original books and and uh the special effects for the original movies uh he would hide his name in the Sumerian, the, the Sumerian uh, text uh, in different ways. And I wanted to kind of pay tribute to that and also get, give him credit where credit is due and give Russ yeah. credit where credit is due. So on this back page, it's yeah. actually sculpted by Russ Lukage, illustrated by, by me, Sam First, and uh, based on the works of Tom Sullivan. <laughs> not everybody spots that <laughs> but uh no it's a great product and we received um we you know for those of for those of you who are waiting for some of these uh, we did mention earlier but we received a restock of these uh day before yesterday because they again they sell out really really quickly all over all over the place so um really popular which is a credit to everything that you guys are doing um You've got a, um, a load of more new stuff coming out. Pre-orders, I gather, will be coming out bit by bit. Um, yep. It's Everybody keeps, I don't know, there's been a lot of people asking questions, and I'm sorry we've not really had a chance to, to delve into the questions much uh, this week, but we've had such a lot to cover. And it <laughs> always seems that, you know, whatever pre-orders you bring out first, there's always other people who say, yeah, but I want this one to come out. Yeah, when's this coming out? And in a sense, everybody would... Um, um, want all the pre-orders to come out in one go. Uh, yeah. That's hard work for those of us involved in, uh, <laughs> in doing all the work behind that and yeah. for you guys. Um, but I was talking to one of our collectors the other day. He rang up and he, he often rings up and he says, can you put this on pre-order? Can you reserve that for me? And he commented, he said that he watched last week's and he was going to watch this week and he said about how everything, uh, um, all the pre-orders keep coming out and um and i he said it would be really nice to have them all out in one go he said but um however i don't think my bank manager would approve because <laughs> 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 he said i would i would i would be spending too much money so he said it's it's kind of nice really to have something to keep looking forward to to thinking oh what you know what's coming out next what's coming out next so uh, yeah um, we're, there we're will be doing, more coming out each week, I presume. Now we'll be ramping it up, and some new products coming out once we get the the go ahead. Um, we're we're working to get through as many pre orders as 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 we we can. So it's like the things that we absolutely know when they're coming, 
uh, those are going to be all the ones that we're are are shipping first. And um, you know, we don't want to keep a lot of people uh, waiting terribly long. Uh, you know, it's not something that we look to do. So we're trying to be a little bit more on top of like more diligent, I guess, in, in knowing when our yes. firm ship dates are going to be um, so that, you know, people, you know, don't feel like they are, have been waiting forever. And yeah, it's, you know, going like, you know, problematic. I do know, we don't want it to be. I've noticed there's, there's a lot of people asking and to be honest, they asked last week, they ask the messaging on our pages all the time and I'm sure that on your fan pages they're asking all the time any news on the Halloween kills stuff when's, when's that happening and we just keep saying we don't know at the minute we, no, it's, I, it's, yeah, if we knew we would tell you <laughs> yeah I mean I've been you know and and as you can imagine I, I not just me but everybody at the company has been working on Halloween kills stuff since you know t 2019 like you yeah. know we've been we've been ready and anticipating it's like I've already done packaging i've already done this like i've done photo shoots like all the yeah. stuff is already ready and waiting and and as you know the masks are they're sitting at at, at the warehouse like ready to go um, yeah so it'll be really actually really exciting when we actually get the word that we can launch it because they're just going to go right out it's not yeah. going to be and at least and at least up. people won't have to then think oh i've got to place a pre-order and then wait another six months for it to be ready because once it's yeah. once it can go it can go um unfortunately we can't even you know we're not even allowed to take pre-orders um so um so it's um yeah it's it's, it's a unique situation that, that we're all in with everyone um other people have been asking about about figures there will be more figures coming out this year new figures um Lots i'm particularly i'm particularly looking forward to the Universal Monster statue of uh, Frankenstein. Um, yeah, I, that that's cause... been that's been my number one anticipated of the year. Um, I'm I've been so excited about that that since Justin first showed me the photos of it, and yeah, um, and it was just an unpainted statue at that point. And Justin did the paint job on it for for William Paquette, and it came out absolutely incredible. And it's got um, it's going to have magnetic heads that interchange so one of the heads is the uh the makeup test version of yeah. boris karloff that's got these two big kind of uh pieces on his forehead but I, I i while we were prepping for the catalog it was you know i kept i kept kind of bugging justin for that one because it was one of it was sort of like one of his last priorities to get into the catalog and uh he kept you know he was working on the paint job but he was also working on the ghoulies and he was working on all sorts of other stuff. And I kept asking, he's like, he's like, he's like, why do you keep asking? I'm like, because I want it. You don't understand. Like I, I want that statue for my own house. Like I'm really anticipating <laughs> the release of that one. Uh, but yeah, the, the, you know, Justin has now pulled in another really amazing artist. Um, which he's the only other um, full-time artist at Trick or Treat. Uh, this his name's Alex Ray. I yeah. believe you met him. You you met him in New York. I have. Yes, nice guy, he, Alex. Unbelievably nice guy. Um, you should he follow him on Instagram. Uh, and he's you know pretty much solely responsible for the like I would say ninety percent of the ornaments, and you know he's kind of our figure guy. And mm. some of the stuff that him and Justin are currently working on, even that are going to be slated for like much later this year, uh, I think it's it's just going to be really fun. There's some yeah new new not just you know you know it's one six scale but and beyond. There's going to be a bunch of other stuff too, and yeah. it's going to be fun. Exciting times. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, thank you um, so much for joining us, Sam. Um, Really appreciate that. I know there's been loads of questions gone through. I'm sorry we've not really had um, much time to answer the questions. A lot of the questions um, are, well, what about this? When's, when's this coming out? When's that coming out? Um, you know, people ask about 
Art the Clown pre-orders. We don't know anything about much about that yet. Um, you know, there's lots of suggestions there. I think lots of questions about we, ghoulies. When we, I'm seeing. When we um, check out check out this, it will be on our um, um, IGTV feed. Um, so um, I'm sure that you can we can look back through it. And what will be interesting is to the, if you ever look back through it and think, do you know what? We never thought about that one. <laughs> but it, but it, what it just goes to show, um, you know the the you know, the demands there. People people want more and more good quality products at a at a good price for them to collect um, and enjoy as um, as we all do. And I think you're all doing a um, um, an absolute fantastic job. I'm just trying to see if I can find. I'm trying to find a question that nobody's ever asked before. So uh, I, on, on, <laughs> on Halloween Kills, I would say, and I'm basing this because I'm also very much in the dark, but if I had to estimate, I would say probably somewhere around July because yeah. that was about when, I want to say that was when the Halloween 2018 stuff finally kind of got released uh, to the public and we were allowed to even put up the pre-order. Um, I believe it was about, july of, of 2018 so i'm i i am hopeful that that's yeah. roughly when when okay. that might be as I'm far gonna... as like other pre-orders you know we're going to be launching as, like whenever we can we're going to be trying to launch probably like two three a week yes yeah that's uh um yeah that's a good way of doing it I've, there's a question here that that's come up by um Need to ask. Need to ask you this. Uh, it's by um, the organ donor, who's a regular on our Friday lunchtime feed uh, lives. He said, um, uh, "Hey, I know you can't talk too much about the spiral merchandise uh, <laughs> at the moment, as the movie isn't out yet. But are you able to say anything about it at all? Like, is it different to the previous Saw movie merchandise?" Choose your words very carefully, Mr. First. <laughs> As we said in our promo video uh, <laughs> for the Halloween Party Expo, I would say that uh, there's some definitely some new takes on some, some classic icons. That was very well put. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> <laughs> we can only say it can only say so much. Yeah. You know, he's, um, <laughs> um, somebody was asking about um, Tots Originals. Um, we had a few of those on last week. Uh, Anthony showed us some of the Tots Originals last week. So if you check out our IGTV yeah. for last week's, you'll see a few of them on there. Um, but there's some cracking there's ones some... coming out. Uh, particularly uh, Dry Rot was one of the ones that I was particularly keen on. So, yeah, uh, yeah there's some good. Yeah. Um... So, and it, we, we hope as the weeks go by and hopefully we can get more samples in to do some more of these on a on a regular uh, regular basis because I think I think everybody certainly appreciates it and certainly preach you you know people like yourself Sam coming on here and explaining some of the thinking and the reasons behind it it helps uh, um, helps everybody understand a little bit more everything that goes into it. I'm I'm more than happy to always come on here anytime you need Neil. <laughs> yeah, excellent, and then we can talk rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely yeah anyway thank you so much um you uh enjoy the rest of your working day although it must be was it like nearly finishing soon won't you um yeah for me it's for me it's 3 30 because i'm yeah. i'm east coast yeah Every, everybody so, else is just kind of getting going yeah that's right so um yeah have a great weekend sam and no doubt we shall be uh speaking to each other very soon um, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Really appreciate you uh, popping by and listening in to this. Um, once again, sorry we couldn't get to really get to the questions, but because we had so much we had to cover. So, but really appreciate everybody dropping by, and we will be doing these again in the future. So, um, I should say, have a great weekend, everyone, and um, we'll see you soon. Okay, thanks a lot. Take care, Sam. Take care, everybody else. Thanks, Bye. Guys.